Now, what is it with athletes from Kent unexpectedly discovering that they are world class at winter Olympic sports? Matt Weston from Tunbridge Wells is being hotly tipped to follow in the footsteps or maybe more accurately, ice tracks of Lizzie Yarnold as a skeleton slider. Yes, he caused a real stir in his first appearance at the World Championships by finishing 15th out of 32, having only started competing in the sport last year. It's a truly meteoric rise. Well, we'll be having a chat with Matt here in the studio in a moment. But first, here's a look at him in action. Place potentially 14th last year, Matt Weston. There's can he Kansas. hang on? He um, trains hard, he competes hard, and yes, he's got amazing things ahead of him, that's for sure. Makes it look ah, easy, doesn't it? <laughs> it does, but it isn't easy. And hello, no. Matt. Thank you, thank you for joining us. Let's start off with that because obviously this isn't a sport that a lot of kids get into at no. school or anything like that. There's a lot more to it than just basically sliding down a hill. Yeah, yeah. There? Well, obviously the start's really, really important in a sport where hundreds of a second do like really like separate medals almost. Being as fast as you can off the start does make a big difference. And uh, actually going down the track, it sounds crazy. We have to be really relaxed and, and almost sink into the sled as well. Because we were having a little bit of a chat before we went on, you were yeah. telling me that tiny, <clears throat> tiny movements yeah. are all you need to actually change direction. Yeah. So if it's, you see somebody really looking like they're working hard, then they're probably they're going quite slowly. Going slow. Yeah, it's that the best guys are always the ones that are, they look like they're doing nothing, which is uh, when I first started the sport, I thought, oh, I just have to lie, lie down for a minute going down it. But no, it's uh, the best guys do make it look really easy. <laughs> Including you, oh. <laughs> and um, it's it's high, I mean highly dangerous. What sort of speeds are you going? Uh, well, my PB speeds 135 and a half kilometres an hour. So what's that? 80 80 between 80, 80 and 85 miles an hour. That's faster than I drive. And yeah. <laughs> this because this is your suit here, yeah. isn't it? And that's there's not much to it. No, it's, <laughs> it's not, not much protective protective thin, is it? Yeah, it is. So, yes. but you've got like these incredible shoes. Let's just have a look at these because obviously you have to. The start is everything, isn't it? It's the power it, it makes, yeah, off the difference. block and running. Yeah. And obviously you're running on ice. Yeah, on ice. Yeah. So you've got these They're like insane hundreds of shoes. tiny needles on on the bottom of it that to give sharp. a strip on the ice. Yeah. Mind your fingers. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. Now you actually got into this because they they picked you out of a program. They sort of like yeah, tested sort of you talent identification. How did that work? Uh, well, I just basically went along to see what I could do. I wasn't really expecting too much of it, but um, they, they test how fast you can sprint, how high you can jump, how far you can jump as well, um, just to see how much power you've got, what potential you've got. And they send that off to loads of different sports. And Skeleton said, oh, why don't you give this a, this a go, oh, this okay. sport? You, we think and it's, it's the same kind of programme that Lizzie Arnold went through. Yeah, yeah. similar, yeah, the same this sort of concept. Yeah, she's, got a, she's got a message, message. for you. <laughs> Hi Max, Lizzie here. I just wanted to say a massive well done for the season and I can't wait to see what you're able to achieve over the next coming years. Oh, uh, brilliant. What do you make of that? Uh, well, it's encouraging the fact that she notices, like, the, well, she knows the hard work that goes behind every like, sort of performance. But, it's, yeah, it's nice to hear it from someone who's been there and done it twice. And, so. and just very quickly, how do you feel about the Olympics? Because you're a big hope, aren't you? Uh, you well, it's, it's uh, a, a little bit. I think it's, it's, defin it's on the cards, but nothing's ever guaranteed. They only really make the team selection a month before, so nothing's guaranteed. But, I mean... It's obviously the goal, so that's what I'm striving for. Yeah, yeah we've Brilliant got a good stuff. feeling about you, Matt, you. and we'll have you right. back on Cheers. when you get Thank back you. from the Olympics. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks yeah. very much indeed. Great.